This is called The Alchemist by Paul Coelho. Can you say in maybe one sentence what it is about? About discovering yourself. Discovering yourself? Yeah. So is it like a non-fictional book or is it a... Uh, it is a mix between fictional and non-fictional. Nice. Yeah. Mm, did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was quite good. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, so you would recommend it to other people? I would people? recommend it from the bottom of my heart, yeah. Alright. Um, I still have to finish the last bit of uh, How to Kill a Mockingbird. Oh, nice. Can you say maybe in one sentence what it, what it is about? Uh, it's about fairness and uh, not being fair, unfortunately. Alright. Uh, would you recommend reading it? Yeah, it's nice. Nice. Cool. It's uh, called The Meeste Mensen Deugen. The so, Meeste uh, Mensen Deugen. Yeah, so it's uh, by uh, Rutger Bregman. Uh -huh. um, it's a book about why people are actually uh, not bad inherently, but it's just they're made by the situation they are in. So that's pretty much uh, that's, that's what I read last. So, is, so it's like a psychological book or like a... Somehow more some historical, I would say. Historical. Then. Yeah. All right. But also a bit of psychology in there, definitely, yeah. Did you enjoy reading it? Yeah, it was nice. Yeah? Yeah. So I didn't agree with everything though, but that's yeah. uh, part of the book, so that's... Uh, okay, so you would recommend it to other people? I would, yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. It's a nice read. Thank you so much. Uh, it's it's called naval strategy and like it's about naval battles in uh, like in history past. In the book, you can see the like strategies that are used in naval, such as like the Trafalgar War, Napoleonic Wars and stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. So uh, how was the book? Did you enjoy it? Um. Yeah. Since I'm a, like a naval guy and battle maniac, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did enjoy it. Yeah. I, I would suggest it to like anyone that's into history, like they, yeah. yeah. Cool. Into the darkness. It's about a guy who is like working for an uh, ivory company okay. and he's traveling up a river. Nice. Yeah. Did you enjoy reading it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Alright. Uh, I read a book about Greek mythology. Do you remember the name or was it? Uh, I think it was just called Greek Mythology. Nice. It's just right. a collection of like one of the most important stories of uh, of the Greek times. I mean, of course, there's way more stories than that. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was quite interesting to read more about how gods can be kind of assholes and how the heroes can kind of compete with the gods and they don't like that, so they immediately uh, you know make sure they don't get anywhere near the gods at all. So yeah, that's. Nice. Now, that was really cool to read this. It was mostly written by people who didn't really believe the gods that well, like uh, all the um, philosophers and such, you know, mm -hmm. they... There's, there's a lot of philosophy behind everything. I think that's quite interesting to see how how that works. But yeah, I mean, there's some amazing stories. Of course, like the well-known ones, of, like Troy, you know, there's also a movie oh, yeah. about that. And, like, I mean, the real story is so much more bloody uh, than, than the book and, I oh. mean, the movie was already so bloody, so, yeah. yeah but this was like a collection of, like, multiple, like, yeah. uh, stories, yeah. like Troy and different ones. Yeah, so it All started right. out with, like, talking about the gods, mm -hmm. and then it went more to the heroes, like mm -hmm. Troy or um, Odysseus, Odysseus, you know, who oh, yeah. uh, quite an interesting tale about that as well. Nice. Uh, yeah. Very, very fun book to read. I mean, yeah. it's also kind of a fun book because you see a lot of liter literature these days refers back to the stories that were written back then. And oh, yeah. Like a lot of basis of stories or, or drum dramatic pieces were come from Greek mythology. You know? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. No, so you'd recommend reading it? I it's think so. Yeah. I mean, yeah. mythology in general. I also read a book about Norse mythology. That was mm -hmm. also uh, so interesting, mostly to see how similar they were. You know. Uh, yeah. I think mythology is a good. I mean, you don't have to believe in the gods to, yeah. you know, know about them. I think it's good to always have a general idea of what, what the, was written about it back then. Yeah. For sure. Cool. What's up, guys? I want to give away one of the books you just saw in the video. All you got to do is like this video and subscribe and write a comment letting me know which book you'd like to have. I will announce the winners within two weeks on my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week.